In my kitchen with a bottle of oxytocin, which I'm gonna use tonight. I've been experimenting with oxytocin recently and I experimented with a long time ago, but I didn't think it was working because I don't think I was taking a high enough dosage. I did research on it before and I was doing like one to two units. I was doing a small amount. I was afraid about taking too much. And since I was one of the earlier people to experiment with it, I didn't wasn't quite comfortable at the time going higher in the dosage. Now I've increased the dosage intranasal using an insulin needle to 10, 12 units on an insulin needle. I did 12 because I was trying to go for 10, but I wanted to have 20% extra because not all of it's gonna absorb in the nose and uh, you know, like only a small percentage that actually gets absorbed through the nose versus injecting it. I read that you're supposed to take it an hour before sexual activity. You're supposed to take it ahead of time. But when I take it, I feel something pretty quickly after I take it. I feel like it works pretty quickly. So I do take it more than an hour before sex, but there's lots of different uses for it. Um, so what, this is one vial of oxytocin. This is Swiss Chems. And I reconstitute it with one milliliter of water, which is one full insulin needle worth, and put the water in the vial. And then I draw out one tenth of a vial, or 12 units, so 12% of a vial, which looks like about there on an insulin needle. So that means one vial is gonna last me nine, eight, about eight dosages. Uh, but I, I wouldn't use it alone. I'd use it with someone else. So I use like on me and baby mama too, or me and puppy or, and so on. But oxytocin isn't just for, for sexual benefits and, and for bonding. It does so many different things in the body, too many things to list. And I think we're just at the tip of the iceberg in discovering what the potential uses of this are. For example, it affects your social behavior, your emotions, your memories, your learning, your orgasms, which is why I use it. Uh, helps you connect to other people easier, uh, create more of a bond with people. And how I'm specifically gonna be using it is to try to rekindle some of the love with some of my girlfriends that maybe we've gotten comfortable with each other. And maybe while I lost the spark because I have so many of these long-term relationships, there, there's still a spark, but like to get more of that loving excitement out of our interactions together, make it more romantic. So I gonna I already experimented on it with um, my American girlfriend in Bangkok for two nights, and I noticed she had very long orgasms. Like orgasms just kept going and going and going. And before that, I experimented on it with Cat, la cat Lady, and I always take it with them uh, about 20 minutes before sex. And her she had mo many many orgasms, like orgasm and then weight, orgasm, and then orgasm, and then orgasm, which is a lot more than normal. So I think that use for it is very effective. I didn't necessarily feel like more love, and I'm not sure that they felt more love for me. Maybe, maybe it's because they already love me. Like, these are already loving relationships. Now, there is a girl in the house, I'm not gonna say which one, that doesn't really act like she loves me. Like, more acts more like bang buddies and friends. So I am curious to have her try it and see if it actually causes a loving bond between us. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want that bond earlier because I wanted to make it easier to separate. But at the same time, like now, it's like I have almost my perfect setup. I think it's just kind of missing romance from one of the girls. So if that was fixed, then I think I would have my perfect relationship set up. Um, so what are the side effects? of oxytocin. I, I, you know, the, there's some side, side effects that people experienced online, but it seems like it's extremely rare. Some of them were uh, confusion, difficulty breathing, fast heartbeat, seizures, shortness of breath, sleepless, sleepiness. Uh, and then also another use for this is for workout time. I mean, Steve said in one of his videos that, you know, like he hates leg day or everybody hates leg day, right? But he took it on a leg day and made leg day more pleasurable. So it's easier to, to do leg day, you look forward to it more. Like it can create a positive association between you and whatever activity that you're doing, uh, or, or you're feeling good and the activity that you're doing. Um, well, same thing we do with dopamine, right? Like we use some dopaminergic drugs while we're studying, for example, to make studying more enjoyable. And then we look forward to studying more in the future too, because we create a positive association. So. I think oxytocin can be used for that in the workout environment also because you can create a positive association with what normally is a painful activity you have to go out of the way for, like, like working out or your hardest workout days. 
you know, like maybe you already find your arm days enjoyable, but you find leg days to be torture. Well, if by taking oxytocin, then you might begin loving your leg days. I mean, this is the love hormone, right? So that's, uh, that's my summary on oxytocin so far. I, I've got more to say about it, but I think that pretty much covers it up to this point because what I'm gonna do going forward is keep experimenting on them with oxytocin and myself and then keep reporting what we're experimenting. By the way, all of the oxytocin experiments that I did, except one, also involved other chemistry. So like oxytocin plus mushrooms, oxytocin plus marijuana. So these other things may be working synergistically with it. I haven't done uh, enough experiments with oxytocin by itself, but I have uh, had you know, I have had a lot of sex on these other drugs and I know that the sex on these other drugs plus oxytocin resulted in much, much more orgasms for the female than the drugs alone. Be swollen soul, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution, a day natty is a day wasted.